Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. We're taking a look around a 2007 Bayliner 245 Sports Cruiser. This is a stock boat of ours, so it's been sold with a full three month warranty. It's in immaculate condition. It's got less than 100 hours on the clock. It comes complete with the twin axle trailer, all the covers. It's a really good spec on it. It's got to be one of the cleanest ones on the market today. What we're going to do is take a walk around the boat, have a detailed look at it, show you all the features inside, show you the condition that this one's in, show you the spec that's on it, and help you to decide whether this could be the boat for you. These Bayliner 245s are a very popular boat, and I sell two or three pretty much every year. The reason they're so popular is because they're um, loads of accommodation in them for what's only a 24 and a half foot hull. It's an eight foot six inches wide beam, so it's it's a trailerable package, so it's easy to store, park, transport, and things like that. But it's still got tons of room in there, and it's a really easy step up from a. a bow rider or a sports cutty and it's a great entry level point into the sort of sports cruising lifestyle so that's why they're so popular we get a fair number of them through our hands on, a, on an annual basis and I know them inside out back to front this one is probably the cleanest one that I've had to to sell since it started really it's it's in really immaculate condition it's only had one owner from you it's got less than 100 hours on the clock. It didn't spend a whole lot of time in the water. And because this is a stock boat of ours, we go above and beyond in the preparation of it for sale. We really do make sure that they're as close to new as we can make them. And we also will sell it with a full three month warranty to start at the beginning of the 2016 season, just to give you complete peace of mind um, on the boat. But starting at, at the exterior and having a look down along this, this port side, it looks like virtually like a new boat. The gel coat is immaculate. There's no marks, damage, scratches, dents, anything anywhere in the in the gel coat, both above and below the rub rail here. All the stainless steel hardware, the, the bow rails, um, these little fair leads, the navigation lights, the anchor roller, everything's perfect. Um, have a look at the rub rail here as well. This is the only negative is some slight sort of little marks on the rub rail, but that's designed to take those sort of wee knocks to get in and around the marina and stuff. So it's really nothing to worry about. And you have to be up really close to see them. But apart from that, everything else is perfect. There's still a really deep shine to the gel. It's a bad time of year now in December. You can start to get a bit of condensation forming on the hull. It's really hard to keep, keep a shine on them. Um, but that gel is immaculate beautiful finish on it. All the little skin fittings, these chrome skin fittings, all the chrome finishing and everything's perfect. Again, these mounts for the, the bow rails, the chrome's unmarked. The, uh, the stainless steel cleats look perfect as well. Engine room vents are in great shape, the shore power fitting. All the little pinstriping and, and badge, name badges and everything's perfect. And this Bayliner badge down along this, this side is, um, is a Mac as well. And then coming right back to the stern here, again, chrome skin fittings, beautiful condition, cleats are perfect, the corners, which are a really common area for getting damage on these boats, are completely unmarked, there's not a single impact sign, no stress cracking, no dents, nothing, it's in, it's in beautiful shape all the way to the back. The starboard side of the boat also looks perfect, um, beautiful finish to it, gel coat again is immaculate. Um, this is, there's only one real negative in this boat and it's this little bit of rub rail here. It's obviously just scratched on something, maybe like a pier wall or something. It's just damaged that aluminium very slightly and there's a corresponding wee mark on the rub rail here. This is purely cosmetic. The gel coat itself hasn't been touched. There's no impact signs or anything, no stress cracking or anything of that nature. Um, so it's purely a wee cosmetic thing and you only really see it in the showroom walking around the boat because you're walking underneath it looking up at it. Um, general use, whenever that boat's tied alongside a, a, a jetty, that, that's never right beside you. You're looking down on it, you're never going to see it. So we decided to leave it because it would make more of a disturbance to try and replace that than it does just to have it there. So that is literally the only negative point that you're going to see anywhere around this boat. Apart from that, things like brands banking you. Um, the, the stainless steel rails and hardware on this side is in perfect condition. The rest of the rub rail is completely unmarked down this side in really good shape. Great shine to the gel coat, both the blue colour band and the white section as well. Um, we've got this uh, port light here for a window into the bathroom. The chrome finish and that's perfect. 
um, all the way down to the back, the bail her badge, all the little skin fittings. Um, everything's in fantastic shape here. And then walking right down to the, the stern corner, again on this starboard side, that's completely unmarked, no damage, no cracks. That's in beautiful condition. As part of the preparation process and getting this boat ready for sale, we've given it a fresh coat of international um, Interspeed Ultra anti-fouling paint. Now, it will get another coat before the boat's launched in the spring, so there's a few bits and pieces, you'll see some of the old anti-fouling paint come through. But the hull bottom, before we put this on, the hull bottom was in great condition. The previous anti-foil was in perfect condition as well. And we just did a, a dark navy colour to tie in with the, the colour band on the hull. I think it looks really rich and um, the, the hull bottom's in, in perfect condition. As I said, this boat, it's only run, I think it's like 98 hours on the, on the engine. Done very little and it spent uh, most of its life on the trailer. Um, speaking to the previous owner, he really didn't use it very much. That's one of the reasons why he's getting rid of it. Um, and you can tell from looking around the boat that it's, it has done virtually nothing. This boat has a full width integrated swim platform. It's integrated into the hull. It's around about uh, 12 to 14 inches uh, deep. And because it's the full width of the boat, it means it's really easy to get on and off the boat from either the port side or the starboard side. You've got this big handrail that runs across the, the transom. So you can make your way safely across the back of the boat and into the cockpit. Um, really good design feature. We've got this folded three-step stainless steel board and ladder as well. Um, and an additional handrail up here so you can um, help yourself up out of the water if you're climbing on and off the boat um, for swimming or skiing or that type of thing. Condition-wise, everything back here is perfect. Um, gel coat's immaculate. All the fittings are all there, even the little uh, catch the wee canvas snap fastener thing to, to hold the swim ladder in place. It's all working as it should. The boat is fitted with a Meritruiser 5 litre MPI 260 horsepower stern drive engine and it's matched up to this Bravo 3 leg. Um, this power package is definitely the, um, the combination of choice in this Bayliner 245. It gives a boat great acceleration onto the plane, Great performance, it's effortless as well. It really, you're not having to work the engine too hard to get it up on the plane and keep it there. Um, so it means you know, the engine's lightly stressed, the fuel, the fuel economy is really good. And um, because we've got this Bravo 3 leg with this uh, twin propeller setup with two props counter, counter rotating on a single shaft, it means that the boat tracks in a straight line really well. It transmits the power to the water really effectively, so it keeps it on plane down to lower speeds, gets it up on the plane quicker holds on traction through tight turns and everything's excellent um, and the boat just runs like a dream this is definitely the um, the motor and drive that you want in a, in a 245 um, this one like everything else in the boat is in immaculate condition like i said it's, it's only run 98 hours from you it's a single owner the drives in beautiful condition the props are really good as well they're completely unmarked now as Again, as part of getting this boat ready for sale, we've done a full engine and drive service. We have replaced the bellows, we've replaced the gimbal bearing, we've done all the major service items that need taken care of sort of every four, four to five years. So you don't have to worry about anything in terms of major maintenance um, for the next few years. And we're also backing up with that warranty to start at the beginning of the 2016 season. So it goes without saying that mechanically, she's perfect. Um, brand new set of anodes on her as well. Gearbox oil has been changed, everything's been done. You'll also notice that we've, this boat's fitted with uh, stainless steel trim tabs on the port and starboard side. So they're great for um, either helping the boat track in a straight line at really slow speed. So if you're moseying down a canal or a river, you can drop the trim tabs, you know, extend them fully, and that combined with the counter rotating props means the boat tracks really well in a straight line. You don't have to sit sawing away at the steering wheel to get it to go in a straight line. Um, and also, if you're running the boat in a crosswind, you can use the tabs just to straighten it back up again so that the, the boat responds really well to inputs from the trim tabs and condition-wise, they're perfect and they're obviously covered by the warranty and everything as well. So, back here, she looks in immaculate condition. Over the last few years, we have worked hard to cultivate a reputation for selling only the best boats in the marketplace whenever it comes to their sort of presentation and their condition. And it doesn't happen by accident. We really do put a lot of effort into finding the best boats, making sure they're prepared to the highest standards. 
and really trying to go above and beyond in the, the level of presentation and condition, make sure everything works, they look the part, and it's a really simple and straightforward process um, for buying them. Now, we're constantly working at that, we're constantly thinking of ways to try and make sure that our boats stand out from the crowd. And I know that buyers, customers love that, you know, they love the fact that whenever they show up with one of our boats in the marina, it's the best one anybody's seen, it looks like it's about a year old, um, and it stands out and makes a bit of an impact. So one of the things we decided to do on this Bayliner 245 to deliver that sort of wow factor was replace the carpets in the cockpit and also install a teak swim platform on the back of the boat. So this is flexi teak decking, so it's synthetic teak. It looks and feels just like real wood. It's got a real grain to it um, and it's a, a really high quality product, but it's got the, it's the benefit of being zero maintenance. So you don't have to oil it, you don't have to sand it, you don't do anything, you just hit it with a hose to clean it um, and it looks the part. I think it really sets off this, this 245, makes it stand out from the competition, looks fantastic and in combination with these sort of teak effect carpets that we've replaced throughout the entire cockpit of the boat, um, it just gives the whole boat a really rich feeling and it's obviously it has the benefit of it that it's all brand spanking new as well so it looks and feels in uh, phenomenal condition, freshens the whole thing up. Um, so this was, um, this was just installed last week um, and we fitted the flexi tape to the entire width of the swim platform and also this little cockpit walkthrough step so you have a seamless um, sort of take effect right the way through, through the boat. Access into the cockpit is through the little lock-in transom gate there so you can close that off, keep kids and animals and stuff inside the boat. Um, and then the cockpit layout in here is tried and tested, really popular, it's a single level design so there's no steps or anything to trip up on. Um, and it's a really versatile sort of layout. So with the transom seat folded flat against the, the transom of the boat, you can see it there, it really opens up the, the aft end of the cockpit so you can use it for fishing or if you're swimming or doing water sports and things with the boat, you use, use this area for, um, for getting ready and drying yourself off and things like that. You can obviously lift all these carpets, they're snap-in carpets, there's molded fiberglass underneath there, the, the decks are all self peeling as well so any water gets, finds its way in here will drain automatically overboard. And then whenever you're sitting at anchor, say you want to have a cup of tea or something, you can uh, set this back seat up. So that's really easy to fold out. And, and then you've got uh, twin wide facing benches around the little cockpit table that you can set up there. Now we haven't trimmed the carpet yet to, to, to make a slot for putting the table in there, but we'll do that before the boat's delivered. And then you can set the cockpit table up here you can sit around the table, have a cup of tea, a glass of wine, or, or a bit of lunch or whatever. Um, and you can also use that transom seat then for additional seating whenever the boat's on their way. A couple of other wee things I want to point out back here are these molded in steps on the port and starboard side. Uh, and also these little sections on top of the gunnels, molded uh, tread surfaces. So you can hop in and out of the boat over the sides. If you're moored up alongside a high pier or a jetty wall or something, you get it in and out of, out of the boat on both sides there. You've also got these little blue LED cockpit lights here. And we have a pull out a transom shower with hot and cold running water. So if you do want to have a rinse yourself off after a shower or even just for washing down the deck, we, uh, you've got that facility there. If we fold this uh, seat back <coughs> over into the other position, then this opens up this uh, port side lounger. So it's a nice L shaped lounger. You'll easily sit two or three people here in behind the windscreen for whenever you're on your way and if you want to use it as a sun lounger you can do that as well with this little cushion backrest here up the front. You can also fold that seat back completely flat so it extends the uh, the lounging space so with this this upholstered backrest up here and that you've got loads of room for lounging on a better day and it could actually double up if you were pushed and you had to find another bed for somebody and um, you could use that kid could sleep out here or You've got guests on board, get a few sherries into them, they'd be, they'd be glad of there. Um, somewhere else to sleep with the camper covers up. So um, everything's working here as it should. We've got two cup holders in here as well and the condition of everything in here is lovely. Generally speaking, the condition of everything inside the cockpit is excellent. The upholstery is in really nice shape. There's no uh, rips or tears or anything in it. The, the stitching and all is really good. The carpets, like I said, they're brand new. They really lift the thing, you know, really set the, the cockpit off here. All the little clips, the, all the little clips and catches and hinges, and all that sort of stuff is um, all working really well. 
There's only one negative area in here, which is very minor, and it, you'll find it on all of these Bayliner 245s. Got a wee couple of nicks out of this, uh, this seat. Just as you, with this seat, the seat's adjustable fore and aft, but whenever you have it back, it just makes this a wee bit of a pinch point whenever people are walking past. And it's easy to catch it with, um, you know, your belt or keys or whatever, and, and it's really common. You get a couple of wee nicks there, but it's nothing to worry about, and uh, it's not going to get any worse, really. Um, so, apart from that, everything else is perfect in here. There's a very nice helm position on the, on the 245. Very practical, well set up. So, first of all, we've got a decent helm seat. You can adjust it fore and aft. We've got a molded in footrest here as well. So it's easy to get a comfortable steering position. There's a bit of an armrest, like a ledge here. It doubles up as an armrest. And the throttle and shift lever is completely located over here. In terms of the equipment and accessories, we've got a full range of marine instruments. We've got a fuel gauge, uh, battery voltage, engine temperature, oil pressure, um, taco, speedo, trim gauge, and then we've got this digital uh, depth sounder as well. It's on a separate accessory switch on the dash here. Um, so everything, it goes without saying on this boat that everything is working perfectly and it's all covered by our warranty as well if you do find any snags. Um, the boat is fitted with a uh, Navman electronics package. So we've got this tracker 5505 uh, GPS plotter. So it's a five inch screen. It takes uh, CMAP cartography. We've also got a Navman uh, VHF radio, VHF 7100 uh, radio. So that's in uh, perfect working order as well. In terms of equipment then, we've got our horn, aft bilge pump, forward bilge pump, engine blower motor, accessory power for, that's a spare accessory switch, or maybe it powers up this little 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter socket. This is power for our uh, depth sounder. We've got switch for our cockpit lights, We've also got our navigation lights, we've got our wiper, proper pantograph wiper, does a really good job of clearing the windscreen. And then we've got switches for our, our trim tabs on the transom as well. So um, there's room as well for additional electronics if you wanted to fit, say, a fish finder or depth sounders, an additional sort of um, depth finding bit of kit, you can do that. We've got a cup holder up here on a wee little shelf for keeping your odds and ends um, close by at the, at the helm. Condition wise, it's, it's in excellent shape. Everything's working as it should. The little tilt position, adjust on the steering wheel is all working well. The controls, everything feels slick. It all feels brand new because the boat's only run 98 hours. It's virtually just run in, you know, it really hasn't done much at all. Down here at the helmsman's feet, we've got a little status indicator for the fire suppression system and the engine base, so green means it's good. You've got a remote activation a handle here as well. If you, if you do have any problems down there, you can fire the fire extinguisher from here. These are the switches for the onboard macerator. So this boat has a holding tank with macerator. You can empty that whenever you're out, out at sea. And you can see we've got the C certification plate here, rated to carry eight passengers plus gear. And it's a category B cruiser. So it's um, rated to go sort of offshore. Um, so again, everything here. Perfect work on order, really good shape. We've also got a bank of circuit breakers down here. So if any of your circuits trip, you don't have to go hunt around for a fuse. You just reset the circuit breaker there. One of the things I really like about these Bayliner 245s is the engine access is super straightforward. You don't have to remove any seats. All you have to do is make sure the cockpit table is not in position. And that back seat can be either folded down like it is at the moment or can be set up. It doesn't matter. Either way, the engine hatch opens um, easily. So the hatch lifts up on two gas assist struts and we've got excellent engine access. The reason I like the access being so easy is that it really is a good habit to get into. Every time you step on the boat, you want to open the engine bay, you want to have a look in there for any leaks, any signs of any oil leaks, water leaks, whatever, and just keep an eye on the motor. And you can do that really simply on this, on this 245. So there's 260 horsepower on tap, so there's bags of power. If you do open it up, the boat will run it up to about 45 miles an hour and with that Bravo 3 leg and there's you know you can there's enough there to pull a water skier, pull water toys and stuff like that. So if you are moving up from a smaller sports boat, you don't have to sacrifice um, that side of your boating. You can still do a bit of water sports as well as having all the accommodation and the facilities to, to go for extended periods of time on board. Um, so the engine's been fully serviced it's all covered by our three month warranty to start from the beginning of the 2016 season um, and you can buy this boat with uh, complete peace of mind. 
few other th quick things to point out is the boat does have two brand new batteries installed by us as part of this uh, preparation. Um, they're easy to get to over on the port side. You've got the hot water clarifier over there as well. You've got the holding tank for the, the head system here and the water tank as well. And everything is in, in really nice condition there. Access out onto the foredeck is via these molded in steps and you can use the top of the cabin entry door as a walkway, it's all molded non-skid, out through this open and windscreen section, out onto the foredeck of the boat. So everything up there is all molded non-skid as well, so you get safe footing right up to the fore peak of the bow. You can see there's a little flat sort of recessed area there right up at the front by the anchor roller, so you've got safe footing whenever you're dropping the anchor or pulling it back up again. Um, the high guard rails too you make, keep you safe in, inside the on the foredeck and you can it's flat enough out there you can throw down a couple of tiles and use it for a bit of sunbathing as well. You'll notice that all this area here is all a nice grey colour so it means it reduces the glare on the windscreen uh, on better days and the condition of it all is perfect. The gel coat throughout the cockpit of the boat looks brand spanking new, nice lovely deep shine to it. We, all we've had to do is give it a polish up to get it looking like that. To get down into the cabin then, you've got the split folding door, so the top section folds up on this little gas strut, and this door just folds out of the way, and we've got three steps down into the cabin. Coming down into the cabin, um, it's a very traditional US sports boat layout, but it has the added benefit of having these high level cockpit windows that, that these bay liners are sort of famous for. So it means it's a nice, spacious, airy feeling cabin. Um, first of all, we come down to a decent little size companionway. We've got a little bit of sort of teak or holly floor in there, so um, saves your carpets um, in that high wear area. We've got an excellent little galley over on the port side here. Access into the aft cabin underneath the stairs. We'll take a closer look at that in a wee minute. Um, we've got a 
traditional uh, V-berth arrangement, dinette, so it's a dinette during the day, converts into a double berth at night. Loads of storage up behind that, and then we've got our heads compartment over here on the starboard side. Take a look at the galley, first of all. Um, for a 24 foot boat, it's an excellent uh, bit of space um, and very usable for you know preparing picnics, lunches, and stuff like that. So you can go away for a weekend quite comfortably on board. First of all, we've got this one has the preferred equipment package it was called at the time. So it's got a Corian effect uh, countertop, it's got a stainless steel sink, big recess stainless steel sink, got a stainless steel tap, uh, hot and cold running water that pulls out. Um, that package also included that little Taker Holly uh, floor paneling section as well. Um, we've got a 240 volt microwave, looks like it's never been used, the original packaging is still in there. We've got a single burner alcohol or electric stove, so that works either when you're plugged in the shore power or you can fill it with alcohol and use it whenever you're away from the from the jetty. It's, it looks, that's never been used, I can tell by looking at it. Um, and it's in perfect condition. We've got a decent sized fridge then, down below the sink. Again, looks like it's probably never been used. This is dual voltage, so it works either on 12 volts, don't know if you can hear it running there now, but works on battery voltage, or whenever you're plugged in the shore power, it automatically switches over to 240 volt. And um, we've got a decent bit of storage as well, so nice big cupboard here, storing odds and ends, shelved. And we've got another cupboard in here, so you can get your supplies in out of the way. Um, there's a shelf above the, the galley and a little cubby hole here for storing odds and ends. You can see we've got our stereo down here. It's in perfect working order as well. Um, and then we've got our 240 volt uh, switch panel. So whenever you're plugged in the shore power, you've got your AC mains breaker here and you've got um, individual switches for your battery charger, your sockets on the boat, um, ice, uh, the water tank immersion heater, this is for your hob, your refrigerator, microwave and, and other bits and pieces. So as I said, all this stuff looks like brand new. The cabin, the owner was telling me the boat was used by him as a day boat and um, he never spent a night on board. So all this, that's why all this stuff looks like it's never been used. The beds have never been slept in. Downstairs, the cabin's immaculate. The dinette area is again very spacious for a 24 and a half foot boat. I've seen bigger boats from other manufacturers that, that feel more clamped, sort of cramped and, and claustrophobic than this. Bayliner do a really good job of maximizing the internal space in the boats and making the, the cabins feel nice and bright and airy. So they do that with these high level windows, nice big opening port light overhead, lots of little um, spotlight dotted throughout the, the cabin as well. And then you've got these nice light fabrics, this beige colored upholstery in here, cream headlining so it all feels nice and bright and airy um, and it's a comfortable place to spend time I mean, you quite comfortably sit down here family of four and have a meal um, in, uh, in comfort decent sized table the backrests are good on the seat you've got good sitting headroom here as well and then there's loads of storage around the back of the seat so if you've got you know bags and you know luggage and things with you, you can fire everything up here and it's not going to be in the way but it, yet it's still easy to access there is storage underneath each of these seats as well, um, but that's probably a wee bit harder to get at. So things that you don't need to use as, a, as, a, as regularly, you can store them in under the seats out of the way. Um, the condition of everything here, it's like I said, it's virtually unused, so it's perfect. The upholstery is perfect, the headline is perfect. Um, all the little fixtures and fittings are all in, uh, in immaculate condition. One other quick thing to point out here is a wee, a wee sort of hanging locker. So you get this rail, you've got this little bungee here, so you can hang up coats and jackets and things and you can clip them there so they're not swinging around whenever the boat's on their way. We've got all the original uh, owner's pack, the bayliner bags, all the paperwork is there for the boat. Um, it's Like I said, it's one owner from you, so it's a really solid history. Again, for the size of the boat, the access into the aft cabin is excellent. Good, decent wide opening here um, and at the head of the bed you get good headroom you've got this little opening window out into the cockpit little overhead reading light um, upholstered headboard at the top of the bed and then you've got this full width um, double berth so it's really good size another little light down at the back there a bit of storage on the shelf down there you can see we've got the filler cushions stored here they, so they're for filling in the v-berth in the front of the boat 
um, and you've got a wee bit of storage in behind the headboard there too. So condition wise everything in here is perfect. So the heads compartment here on the starboard side is a pretty decent size. Um, you've got proper sea toilet there. As I said, this is fitted. This boat's fitted with a holding tank and a macerator, so that discharges into the holding tank, and then you can use the macerator pump to empty the contents overboard where regulations allow. Um, we've got hot and cold running water at the sink there. The little tap pulls out, and that doubles up as a shower head. You can set it up in this little bracket here in the wall, um, where you can just use it handheld. You can see there is a little opening port light and a high-level window with a little curtain to screen that off. And we've got an overhead uh, spotlight in there as well. It's a bit of storage underneath the sink. The whole compartment is lined and drained, so it drains overboard when you're over in the shower. And you have a little vanity uh, mirror here as well on the back of the door. So that's an excellent day's, day heads. Um, ideal for kids and things. And even if you're going away in this boat for you know, long weekends and stuff, this is a perfectly serviceable heads that'll keep you going whenever you're out of the marina for. Uh, for two or three nights, no problem. This boat comes complete with two sets of covers. So it has a tonneau cover. That's just been brand newly made for the boat. So it's a, it's a low cover, it goes over the front of the windscreen at this sort of height and buttons all the way around the cockpit. So that's perfect for whenever you're storing the boat or if you're transporting it on the trailer. Um, you, you throw that tonneau cover on and um, keeps the boat nice and clean and dry underneath. It also has a full set of camper covers as well which we will get up at some stage and, and take some photographs off you so you can see them. It's the full camper canvas package as well. So we've got two bimini top sections. So flat roof here, flat roof here that zips onto the forward roof. And that means that you've got a vertical steering cushion, two vertical side cushions at the back as well as the, the sections at the front to close it in down onto the windscreen. So that means you don't lose any headroom right away to the back of the boat. So if you are using the table up here in the cockpit or if you've got passengers sitting in that transom seat, the curtain is coming straight down behind them so you don't lose any headroom at all. Um, all the covers, well the, the tonneau cover has been remade so it's going to be brand new and the camper covers are in excellent condition. The, the, the only owner, the first owner, previous owner of the boat, they only ever really used the tonneau cover um, which is why it's a wee bit tatty in places so we've decided just to have a, a new one made for it. Uh, the camper covers were virtually unused so they're like, they're as good as new. Um, and everything's there, all the bars are there all the fittings and fixtures, they're all in perfect condition. Again, because it's a stock boat, we don't let them out the door unless everything's perfect and that includes the covers. This boat comes complete with a trailer that you see it sitting on here. So it's a galvanized twin axle brake trailer and it is the factory bayliner trailer. So the boat came from the bayliner factory on the trailer. It's great having a trailer for a boat of this size because it means you can still launch and recover the boat yourself and you can take it like off-site away from the marina for storage if you so wish. Um, you can move it around easily and it means you're not getting uh, subjected to sort of the usual marina charges for lift in, lift out, storage, all that sort of stuff. So owners, I know owners of boats of this size love having them complete with a trailer uh, and this one ticks that box. It also means if you want us to arrange transport or, or delivery of this boat for you, it makes that that much easier um, just because it's easier to move these things on and off lorries and stuff like that and you'd be pleasantly surprised I think if you're looking at this boat from further afield say you're in the mainland UK, England, Scotland, Wales I think you'd be pleasantly surprised at um, how reasonable we can arrange transport to your door so if you are thinking about the boat from further away please don't hesitate to give us a call we'd be happy to give you an estimate for uh, transportation so there you have it, that is our 2007 Bayliner 245 sports cruiser with a 5 litre Mercruiser MPI 260 horsepower stand drive engine, the Bra Bravo 3 drive leg, Navman uh, GPS and VHF radio, brand new teak carpets, brand new tonneau cover, full camper covers, flexi take swim platform, complete with a trailer um, and with less than 100 hours on the clock. The whole thing looks like brand new, it's in immaculate condition. As I said, I've sold quite a few of these boats by now. You may have seen some of the earlier videos. If you have, you'll probably realize that I'm struggling to find new things to talk about on these videos, but hopefully um, this one has done a good job of giving you a good idea of the condition that this one's in, the specs and stuff that it has. Um, and I genuinely do think this is probably the best one we've had. 
It's a stock boat, so we're selling it with a full three month warranty. It's prepared to the highest levels. We make these things as good as we possibly can. Everything in the boat works right down to every last canvas, button popper, clip, catch, hinge, you name it. It all works. Um, engine's fully serviced. You've nothing to worry about in terms of maintenance costs going forward other than your routine annual servicing. Um, it's going to have a fresh coat of toilet and paint as well before it's put in the water and you can just buy it with complete peace of mind. Our aim is just to make it the buying process on all our stock boats as easy and seamless as possible. So if you like the boat and you'd like to come and have a look at it or um, arrange a sea trial, please don't hesitate to get in touch. The best way to contact me is by phone, just call the number on the website or you can send me an email um, or fill out the callback request form on this page of the site and I'll contact you at a time that's convenient. Thanks very much for watching.